I, I, there's a guy who lives near me, and he, when I spar with him, he beats the crap out of me. He is just too fast. I'm just too slow. Anyway, following sports versus complexity. Complexity starting on the T side for Kevlar's per side. Slemmy with the diffuse kit for his team. Flint has a Tech 9 and a smoke grenade. You may wonder if it would be an idea to throw the Tech 9 to somebody who's carrying armor, but he has chosen to don it regardless. So, Complexity have been allowed to walk up mid pretty pretty early on here, just getting themselves up there. Quick uh, decoy explosion there. And we'll see a walk into the A bomb side. They can just plant straight away. So, interesting because this seems to be the plan of Follow Esports to play retake on A, which is actually quite cool considering that they have apartments. And nobody's dead yet. So, they've allowed the bomb to go down on A with the, the plan to retake it. And we're going to see that plan come to fruition now. They just have to hit the shots, and Stewie 2K is going to be moving straight into Eliminate Valence. There's still, of course, multiple players left here for the T's, but they're all stuck in the pit position. So, it's actually looking fantastic for Follow Esports there. Pitfall strategy seems to be pretty good against Complexity. Very nicely done. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Me neither. And again, this is what I'm saying. Like, it feels like they've got a sponsor. It's like, all right, guys, let's pull out all these strats. Like, it, it's just there's so much more focus on the team. It's it's bizarre. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Well, I mean, if you look at uh, Peter's previous team, CRG, who did very well, of course, and uh, broke out a little bit after As Aspen. I mean, we know we know all about Cutler, we know about Hayes, we, know, we all know about Tarek and so on and so forth, right? And Peter and so on. But nobody knows about Steve Drew, Sunny, or I guess at least not from the European scene. Mm. They, I mean, you know, whereas conversely, the older older CLG players, they're pretty. They stream a lot, you know, or, or vice versa. They're pretty present, despite not being in the top two of of the NA teams, uh, teams, you know, like Cloud9 and Liquid. So. So it's uh, quite cool to see what they, that what Follow Esports can do. Maybe they will be with the team instead of Complexity. It qualifies as an international best one to see. Anyway, it's the uh, the M4s, the Famas, the 5-7 of Follow Esports against Complexity's forced by. And uh, they did get the bomb down, so it's interesting that they went for a force. And with the top mid control, you maybe expect an execute um, out of them. Well, they have been given some yards Dan but they have not been given any kills they have spammed their weapons and they have yielded no results so it's gonna be a standard hold here for players on banana for complexity still no reaction save for a bit of a rotation from a third CT so here we go the pop flash is gonna bring CT through just a one man for Rue but he's done enough damage for Stewie to clean up a few more players and there we go automatic down to 5 HP on speedway Wondering what could have been, possibly. Again, this, uh... Oh, that was a bit messy from Akis, missing the first few shots there. But, regardless, it will be cleaned up. Follow Esports surviving with three players. I like what I see here, Dan. And this is what, you know, from what we saw from them yesterday, it made me steer clear from betting against them today, because, obviously, there's... there's the journey of Discovery is not yet quite finished. Absolutely. There's a lot to be revealed with this team. Uh, we don't really know the players uh, and what they're capable of fully at this point in time, as, as previously discussed. And complexity with their uh, their aggressive style, and it's, it remains to be seen as to whether they are going to go towards that on their CT side, and so uh, whether or not they'll give respect to follow esports by not doing that. So we have complexity on the P250 Eco. Previously, uh, or rather, this would be this is going to be be the, the build up to the following round which will be the buy. So they're hoping to get a couple kills in the bomb plant. But without any grenades to get the bomb plant it was it's gonna require kills. And with the two players set up in pit for follow esports, it's unlikely that they're gonna get too many kills. Those, those positions are very strong. Oh dear. Peter's Fire. gonna burn down Valence. Doo -doo -doo. Well follow esports for taking that fourth person over towards uh, A as well, which is interesting. He's just trying to uh Rotate the hard way, maybe not the best idea, but it's worked out for his team. And that cover as well. There we go, clean round, very patient play by Follow Esports. Complexity looking a bit lost in that round. Again, that, that's the kind of round where I feel like a lot of teams don't really have uh, any kind of set plans. Just hanging around, trying to catch somebody unawares. But again, Follow Esports making minimal mistakes. 
Complexity just waiting, looking to punish. Anyway, the buy is coming out for both sides now. All points of Peter, of course. Four AKs on Complexity with the uh, Galil onto Valen, who's got for the nades. Peter almost getting caught towards the car now, and uh, Complexity looking to punish. Are we going to see a, re a repeat of Fox in G2? Peter's going to miss the shot. And uh, they'll start to back up as Complexity will now take control of that area of the map and try and bait out some smokes from the CT side. Uh, so passive play from Follow Esports. This uh, piece of the orb that could do a lot of damage here is there is a push from Complexity that's not covered by smokes, and that is a problem. Peter's taking full advantage. 3-2K is going to be opening up onto Sanks as well, so looking rather uh, rather nice here for for Follow Esports. There's still a player at the back of the bomb side. That's 2-2K. Can he get an additional kill? Oh no, there's a team oh, no. frag. That's very unfortunate. That's going to give Follow Esports the advantage on the numbers, but they still yet need to plant the bomb, which will be an uh, automatic job here behind the smoke. And he is the last man standing. He has to actually get off of it because he's getting burned down. Gets the kill onto Rue, but there's still two players there looking to try to stop him, but he should be able to get the plant. He's going to actually fake it, it would seem, as uh, Slemmy still waiting to move in with his teammate, and they have the cover of smoke as well. Automatic still with the time that he's got is looking for a frag so he can get the bomb down in a one on one situation. Here it is. Akis will hit the shot and that is the end of automatic and complexity's chances in that round. Yeah, no plant either. So uh, that actually the plant is the difference between a buy and a save here. They could try and keep the pressure up with a plant. That extra eight hundred dollars would give most of them enough for AK armor at the very least. But it will be the eco after all. So good opportunity for follow esports now to build some more money with another strong anti-eco from them. Continuing with the standard setup, two towards B, three towards A. No funny business, just keeping it, everything calm and focused. Are we going to see a boost, maybe? No, just repositioning. Playing top mid for the time being. Lots of opportunities for them to uh, retreat should they need to. Again, complexity, not much going on. They're just waiting for somebody to overextend, but uh, C CTs will know that the Ts are on an eco here, so they're unlikely to be pushing the balcony, pushing apartments, etc. Again, that plant from, that lack of plant, excuse me, from complexity making all the difference here. Yeah, and so uh, this, there's at least a, a smoke and a flash to work with for complexity this time around on Valence. And uh, let's see what their their plan is. It looks like they're going towards A at the moment. And see one player in pit this time in uh, Slemmy, playing the truck position. Now it's going to take some fantastical shots from the complexity side to open up this bomb site. To be honest, and they are creeping nearer and nearer to Slemmy's position. In they go now. Slemmy will start to start to gun them down here. Nice little spray action. Gun hoses out as he picks up three kills. He'll go down, but. His uh, teammates will clean up the rest. So 5-0 now for Follow Esports. They've, they've got themselves off to a very wonderful start on the CT side. Uh, their money is looking pretty decent, but the AWP is out here on to Semphis. I, I feel like th they all went pistols. I don't know if they had any nades, but if they tried to wall off short, for example, and went for that kind of desperation plant behind the box, it might be some extra money in the bank. But they have enough. Semphis is lacking a helmet, though. So uh, he's susceptible to the one shot from any of these five M4s. Three towards A, two towards B for the time being. On the uh, CT side. Now they're going to start to get a bit more aggressive. You can see Slemmy deep towards the apps. That is a great Molotov. It's going to even hit the player in the head, which might be a bit of a sound cue for the CTs. The, CT, the T's are avoiding the, uh, the Molotov though. Oh, it's going to be a two-man spray down here. Ruru will trade. He'll have to back off as he's only got 20 HP left. The bomb's down at the bottom of the slope, though. And uh, Complexity just starting to creep up towards A as uh, Follow Esports try to back off through apps without revealing their position. So I really am liking the focus here from Follow Esports. They seem so much more drilled than just a few weeks ago. Yeah, so Complexity forced to change their options as well. And, uh, well, I mean, getting the one for one is really nice at the T side. As we can see, the 2-2 uh, two -two setup has been kind of forced by Follow Esports. There's model ways to hand it, handle it, and this is the way they've chosen, which is the most predictable one, which means it can be exploited by just pushing together, going for the four versus two, using the remainder 
of your grenades, of your utility. I think the spot actually was just there. I don't think Sykes was looking, so... Although, that said, there's no rotation in this yet. Oh dear, Ru is going to avail himself to the opener from Sykes with that very, very visible position as the bomb is now planted by Valens and we'll get the... Uh, the bomb down for complexity. So they've put the time on the CTs and it looks quite good for them post plant four versus three. Indeed, so the uh, CT area is open, which means follow me spots will have some juicy angles to engage with, but again, they are playing a conservative game. They have a five round lead at the moment and they're just holding formation, trying to take the guns off these players together and they're doing a good job of it. Two more T's to find. And Semphis will definitely want to hold on to this AWP, so they're going to just uh, bide their time in Banana. Louis Spots looking disciplined like they've been Terrorist mothers. Win. Kick them arse first into a karate dojo. They've come out with black belts there. Yeah, it's looking, looking pretty nice so far, but what happens when complexity starts to put them in awkward positions? That's the question. So far, everything's going well for them. But for how long is that going to be the case? We've got uh, another buy coming in from Complexity here. We've got the Orpen Semphis, the AKs for everybody else. And uh, pretty standard setup coming in from Follow Esports. Nothing really unusual. No banana aggressions or right, apartments pushes really. They're mixing up their approach though. As seen by that smoke grenade on banana. Whereas before they had a, the delayed Molotov towards the tree. Tried to do a very late take of... of um, but on a, they're executing some very different strategies actually. Like the timing with the Molotov and so on is not another thing that I haven't seen on Inferno before from a CT side. So maybe they're looking to make this their home map. That might be why they've drilled it so hard. We will have to wait and see. Semi trying to play with the Tracer Fighter and he's done a good job of it. Leaving Automatic on 12 HP. Going to make his job a little bit harder now. Got supporting apps as well. But again, they're just starting to back up with... Uh, less than a minute on the clock, just walking out of the apps, not revealing to the T side that nobody is there, which means that complexity, if they want to push A, they'll have to be weary of boiler, etc., and have to move pretty slowly. And that means less time to execute. The, uh, the movement here from complexity is a little bit slow, but they're finally deciding to make their way in, looking for the entries. Ru, I think we'll spot that. And there is also the Orpen to distract them. It's the first from Ru. Oh, brilliant stuff there as Valencia was very occupied trying to see where the, the Orpen would re-peak. And Ru's going to get both frags. And the, uh, the remainder of the push is coming in towards the B-bomb side directly. And that's been largely spotted by Follow Esports, who of course still have everybody left alive at this point in time. And the spray will come down through the smoke to put the remainder of complexity onto very, very critically low HP. They'll get the bomb planted, but they will not survive the onslaught and nobody will go down for follow esports. So a very good round economically for the CT side. However, Complexity did get the bomb down and with the max loss bonus. Actually, how much is that loss bonus? Let's see how many times they lose. Okay, they just got, okay, they just won one previously. So, so it's 800 plus, uh, uh, that's the first loss for them. So that's gonna be, let's see, 2200. That's not very good. I find it curious that Stewie he was the only guy on B, and he moved. I think he moved over towards CT so he could get a pop flash and come back out through the smoke. But then they had nobody on the site, and really, I don't think uh, complexity necessarily needed to to get a plant in that situation. So I, th I think they were lucky that uh, that happened. Solid hold from Follow Esports, nonetheless. And uh, here we go, complexity on the force by now, boosting over the smoke, and the Follow Esports chaps. Forcing their way down, and there we go, straight on to Roka, and that means that the CTs will know there's a... And we see another player there by the plant force as well. So far, so good for Follow Esports. So what is the play here from Complexity? The bomb is being picked up, it's been collected. The bottom of mid brought up to the top of A now. But again, Complexity, they've got the guns. They seem to be, be just uh, going for the wide peak there, trying to find some picks. They've got some Molotov of tanks, for example, but no one is getting their molly down into... The cubby hole, Rui's going to come out of there and get two frags and support Peter with two frags of his own. They are playing pretty damn well. Indeed. So again, com I think maybe even complexity taken by surprise because you saw uh, all the nades bought by complexity there, but they didn't really do anything with them. Ended up being a waste of money. And again, yeah, you can see Akis there is 9 for 0 at the moment. Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed, i got to say. I can't wait to see the breadth again of their map pool, but... 
Anyways, the full eco, well, rather the PT-50 eco coming in for complexity again to see what damage they can get done as well as uh, what, what kind of boons they can find for their economy. It's also a test of uh, follow esports and how clinical they can be when it comes to just hitting these shots because, you, you know, you get the advantage like we saw Pete today. He picks out, gets the opportunity to shoot somebody, he doesn't miss. And that makes a big difference because if you miss the shot, then they gain some more positioning. And then from there, you know, maybe they get another opportunity. And, you know, if you miss another shot, then all, all of a sudden you can get some engagement that are not necessarily favorable and we'll see that the kiss is gonna make sure that he hits the shots there despite receiving a lot of damage so indeed it does appear fairly clinical fairly precise pretty consistent from follow esports and that's what makes a good cs team can we bring up the scoreboard for a second please okay all zero it's deaths on a kiss yeah i love the attention to detail by follow esports you like the molotov comes in but it's deep enough so peter can peek but uh it, you know it keeps distance between him and then he tees because he's going in, not knowing what's going on there, what lies before him. So, very, very nice. It's uh, a very nice surprise, Dan. I think we're all in a bit, a bit in awe. Yeah. But now complexity are back on the buy, so let's have let's have a focus on that and see what they can do, how they can react and adjust to the situation. Another thing that G2, as a comparison, have been doing well is adjusting. But complexity, they need to recognize a hole and punish uh, Follow Esports for it. Again, Follow, follow Esports with the first frag, causing a full rotation actually from the B bomb site over towards A. Yeah, this is going to be pretty scary to be honest. I don't know if they are going to expect the onslaught that they're about, they've unleashed, that they have provoked, because we have everybody moving in, as you mentioned. Stewie2k coming in from library, he's been. Uh, I mean, Symphys looked wary of that, that, that possibility, but he gets completely destroyed as a. Uh, all these players, once again, from Complexity, are getting just, just completely crushed on all of the one-on-ones, pretty much. So again, only two players down for Follow Esports, and they are doing a fantastic job. You can really see, see that they have been grinding individually and as a team. Like, it feels like the full effort has been put forth for them. You know, you never want to read too much into one result, but let's not forget they beat uh, Liquid on Mirage recently, and they, they also, I think it was either Cloud9 or Liquid, previously in the league, they they almost won. It was very close. Incredibly close on Cobblestone as well. So I thought Esports doing a great job overall. Yeah, this is really interesting stuff. So complexity with a new approach. Haven't really had a solution. Any answers to follow Esports yet? Now they're going to go for a straight B play. It's on the, uh, well, it is another force buy. Is that Molotov going to come out fast enough? The spray down is going to make it very expensive for the uh, T side in terms of HP, you can see the remaining three players are heavily tagged and you know these CTs are going to be charging at them. Akis taking down automatic, he's trying to shut down the uh, banana area. I'm not sure if he can boost over that smoke like via the rail for the AWP to peak, but they're going to charge in regardless. He's got a few nades left, there is a Molotov to try and force the uh, T's out. I don't want to use it. No, just sort of go in and shoot him in the face. That works as well. One player to defuse. Presumably, the other guy will pick up the AWP. That's 10 to 1 now for follow esports. So, how many like, rounds have we lost in a row? Is it 5 now? I guess running around on yeah. 16k because he still hasn't died, Dan. Yeah, so, so complexity after the bomb plant get $4,200 in addition to their round loss bonus as it's maxed out at $3,400. Um, so, they got loads of money at this point. But th this is the thing. When you get these really crushing results, you got the combat mechanics that do help you. You got the good pistols, you got the uh, round loss bonus, and so on and so forth. The bomb down um, b uh, bonus money that helps you out as a combat mechanic. But follow esports if they could, if they're to get like that massive result like that or something, that's just we're better than you, basically. Oh, the molotov's gone the wrong way, or has it? Maybe it was deliberate. I don't know. Man advantage for complexity now, but the CT is quickly. Cleaning that up, Akis can quickly uh, turn around and flank as well, should he need to. Maybe face focusing in the wrong direction for too long. And Complexity finally get another round on the boards. But the interesting thing there is that if, if, if we look at how that round went, it was Follow Esports presenting an aggression towards Complexity and Complexity being able to react and defend versus every other round that Follow Esports have clearly like or easily won where they force Complexity to push them. Now those are the rounds that they've really been crushing complexity. So they've decided to mix things up. It could actually uh, help them if they're able to win this round, and of course, you know, then reset the uh, the bonus for complexity, forcing some ecos out of them. But looks like Semphis is going to be able to frag down Stewie. He wasn't having a great engagement towards Banana, and the push is coming. It would seem. 
Yeah, the fast aggression, you might even argue, favours complexity. It's the kind of madness and bedlam they thrive on. So they're in a good position now to uh, exploit Follow Esports, who are a man down with a minute, more than a minute, much more than a minute, on the clock when the frag happens. So Follow Esports will be stretched to two players per site, chosen to play two shorts on A. Nobody apps for the time being. I'm going to bank on complexity charging through mid, but indeed... Complexity have a lurker through apps, and there's still time to uh, get some information, maybe a frag, and cause a rotation of the bomb. 49 seconds remaining, and Complexity just biding their time. Maybe while their teammate makes, makes an information play, although they seem to be setting up for the uh, nades into the, the bomb site. Here they come, they've got a Molotov to first and second origins. Peter getting another frag onto Rocker, though. He's going to rotate round to construction, very key to hold that. But he's still got Rue on the site as well. There's a bomb down in the pool area. Nothing's getting quite difficult for Complexity. Rue to go down, three versus three. So he's in there, he's going to lose his jewel as well, so things uh, fall to Akis and Peter. However, Akis will get taken down on the trade, and Peter's in a one on two. It's a little bit awkward, to be honest. He's going to get smoked off in construction. Is, is he going to go through this? That is very bold for him to go through there. He has no idea if someone's waiting on the other side for him. And indeed, that is kind of the case. Oh, wow! Great shot from Peter. This guy is very bold, and now it's just one player left. Sykes, he's on uh, 13 points of health. The AK is now picked up in lieu of the AWP, and he's just going to take down Sykes. Amazing. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. And Complexity, after just winning one, are going to be reset. The $1,400 plus the $800 is $2,200 for them, so they're going to have something to uh, play with, as they had also uh, saved quite a bit of money otherwise. It's going to be uh, interesting to see whether or not Floyd Sports can carry this through to like a 13-2 or something. Well, I, I would love to see see like a reward to their skill in that sense. Well, there's, the buy is going to continue for complexity. That money is going to be an important bonus. Hempfist down to the uh, Kevlar and AWP once again. His teammates will be the nade men. They've got four Molotovs. We'll see if they use them uh, better on this occasion. Don't always have the opportunity because of the stronghold from the CTs who have two people in apps once again with uh, Peter holding things down top mid with the AWP got Roos for support as well always good to have support for your AWP from a rifler on this map complexity biding their time again just holding the angles waiting for an overextension but uh, we've only seen the one from follow esports and that was the second round for complexity but there's timing nades coming in and they will start to move out of the apps once more but this time complexity committing to a top mid push it seems yeah, they, uh, they're going to have to deal with four players, though. Fully supposed to people in place. And, uh, a kiss able to refrag there. Drops off after getting a little bit of damage, and the flash comes in from his teammates. It's going to work out perfectly, almost. Rue is very low, of course, but three versus two is the sort of situation here for Follow Esports to defend, and without the bomb being planted, it's going to be down to these smart rules, and my goodness, Rue and Akis able to finish things off easily for the 12-2 scoreline. Complexity are in heaps of trouble. Yeah, they don't seem to have a scooby as to what's going on on the CT side here. Again, this is such... I mean, I just I just don't know. This has just come out of nowhere for me. It's just a, a mad surprise, but it's a really good one. So, follow spots now with the full buy, lots of Molotovs and so on. Complexity down to mere pistols. The odd smoke here or there, but again, I don't know if they have an execute for such a situation. So they might just be going for the picks here. or we'll just uh, lob the nades in. They've got five smokes actually, but three uh, flashbangs and just one Molotov, so you'll see what use they can make. Can obviously throw the uh, smoke towards CT and such, or smoke off part of the site, but again they're just getting picked off one by one, and uh, not getting much use out of those grenades so far. So, pretty desperate situation, and another player bites the dust there for complexity as Roka and Lens are left alive, just for Lens now. As you say, you know, it's surprising, but it's not the bad kind of surprise where it's like, okay, they're doing really well against complexity, but maybe there's, you know, some other stuff going on there for complexity playing bad or missing their shots, something like that. Or, you know, it's outrageous play or outlandish stuff that we've seen from Follow Esports. But it's, it's a nice surprise because they're playing good Counter Strike. It's not, you can't really take that away from them, right? Yeah, but it's just so sudden. It's like, <laughs> it's just kind of, it's like hey guys, <laughs> we can play Counter Strike. Yeah, it's like, Hello. you know, we haven't noticed like a gradual trend. It's just from out of nowhere. Follow esports like okay, we we like the Gary Kasparov Dan of Counter Strike. We're just gonna be, have the patient game. That makes no sense actually. No, at all. I just wanted to make a yeah, test, yeah, I wanted yeah, to make yeah. a chess reference Dan yeah, you to, to piss you off. Yeah, I was gonna say 
Chase realizes my trick. One of my triggers is chess. Like comparing esports to chess. <sighs> <laughs> well, here comes the push. Five man push through the app. So where is the ultimate goal here? Okay, so it's a split now from the balcony area, but there's a good setup from the CTs, and they're going to get three super fast frags here. And the numbers are thinning. I don't know if the bomb can get planted here. Rue is going to commit to it. That's a good idea. He's going to get it down. Now, how much more frags can he get? How many more frags can he get? Just the one. Valen's two finishings off. So complexity have uh, a glimmer of hope, Dan. 13 to 3. But follow esports. The question is, are we going to see a force from them? They should definitely is it going to have? Is it going to have nades? Are they going to have an executes? They should definitely do it. Like, if they have the execute, they should definitely do it. Because... Because if they win it, they win the match, basically. Because if you reset complexity at this point, there's just no coming back from that. There's just no way that they come back from that. It's like a less than 1% chance, I'd say. But they, 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 they are going to opt to actually just get the AKs in, which gives complexity an opportunity, of course, to build some money. And on the CT side, the opportunity to build money is very crucial because you then can afford all the grenades that you need to play proper CT Inferno. And, uh, well, complexity... It's always hard to say how they're going to approach their CT side of Inferno anyway, because they do like to get very aggressive, maybe add a character towards uh, how you ex would expect them out to be played. But Ooh. enough of that. We've got a bit of a push, a bit of a lineup. Yeah, we've got the nades coming in from top mid onto the short area. So this is this is the kind of execute we want to see. What, what I was talking about on the first half from complexity that we didn't see. So here we go. The bomb needs to make it onto the site quickly before the CTs get into position. There it goes. Sanks is in the right place at the right time. Peter's got an M4, but again, every second that ticks, it's going to be harder for Follow Esports to plant the bomb, which is obviously going to be one of the big uh, priorities here. They've killed three people, actually. The yeah. M4 will get rescued, but it's such a shame. They just had the bomb in the wrong position. Couldn't get it onto the site there, because uh, then they will have a stronger buy, but they're going to have the buy regardless. Yeah, three frags out of a P250 Eco is actually kind of huge, because Complexity cannot buy all the nades they want now. And the, you know, the guns will come in, but... Depending on the approach from Follow Esports, Complexity are in a lot of trouble. If, if Follow Esports are able to put together a nice execute and actually win this round, that's it. Okay, here we go. Characteristic mid aggression from Complexity. Now, they'll get three frags out of it, and almost you would ex say that this is an expected thing from Complexity. You should never not anticipate aggression down middle from them on Inferno. Well, trades, and this time we'll get the plant here for Slemmy. He's got a Tech 9. I'm not sure if he can pick up a gun. Getting that smoke down towards CT. The flash towards Paul, he's going to cross with it, try and, try and pick up the M4 maybe. Well, he won't get an opportunity automatic to take him down. Complexity surviving with three players. But again, you know, go, you lose a pistol, and that was that was so good from Follow Esports. I would like to have known where the smoke went, because there was a smoke. I want to say Molotov, but I'm not sure about Molotov, but at least a smoke and a flash. He saw the flash go on to short as four people came out of the apps. But um, yes, it looks a lot more focused than the, uh, the, the complexity equivalent, but it is complexity. You have the buy, Tempest, of course, onto the AWP. And there we go, Follow me Sports with an interesting buy. Got the dual barrettes being picked up by Stewie 2K. I don't know why he did that, to be honest. I would hazard to say that that is a mistake, or he himself is mistaken. A bit of pre nades uh, coming in from the B bomb site players of complexity there to do some nice damage on Follow Esports, who do appear indeed to be executing or pushing at least onto the B bomb site itself. And we have two players playing Archside from complexity, which is a very f good, off of course, offers a faster rotation towards B out of the A setup, so they're possible. So it makes all the sense around like this. And look at all these players marching in here from Follow Esports. They are going to be massacred though by the rifles of complexity. They'll get no damage this time around and they're going to have to re uh, rely and respond with their uh, their purchase now, which is going to feature AKs. Peter, is he going to pick up an AWP? Honestly, I would love to just see an AWP on him at all times, which when it's possible because he's so, like his impact with it is just ridiculous. Like he's incredibly good at it, like especially lately. Yeah, it might be hesitation to because he wouldn't have a helmet with it versus the, uh, well, the two M4s on this T side, CT side. They have two AKs on the AWP. Anyway, it's going to be five AKs, but uh, that will give Follow Esports more versatility to uh, move, trade, and so on. So, if they want to go for the faster play, then maybe that fifth AK will come in handy. They've still got some Molotov, still got a lot of nades as well. Be wanting to bait up Complexity's nades, but Complexity have almost all their nades. All they want to do is shoot people. Automatically going to get traded by Peter after all. So, four versus four. Minutes on the clock here for Follow Esports to try and punish the CTs now. 
Yeah, this is again a great spot for these sports. Of course, you know, they, they, if they wait just another like 10, 15 seconds, which they can afford to do, they can be certain that it's a 2 2 split from the CTs. And then they can attack as four. And, and whether it's A or B, it actually doesn't matter too, too much. A is usually going to be easier to isolate the players, but we're going to see Semphis there with the Orc. He's going to pick up the first frag, refrag comes in, and the split possibility is there. Now that's really dangerous. However, oh, that's unfortunate. Ryu is going to be taken down by Sykes. And uh, the frag comes in meanwhile from Stewie 2K on the entry into the one side. Both, in fact, yeah, that's a pretty huge deal. Peter's going to just kill himself. He's going to kill himself, James. He's had enough with the world. <laughs> he is done. Well, there was a... Something I want to talk about in a minute. Well, let's see. Stewie needs a headshot here. Against Sanks. He's only got 10 HP. Ooh. Sanks is looking. He's realized what might be going on here. Going for the angle, and he's going to get it with an assist from Peter as well. Speed did loads of damage to his own team, including suicide. That was a really nice play because... Uh, the, I can't remember who, who it was who got the kill on... On Arch and then ran into Arch, then ran back out again, almost as if he was trying to essentially fake death cam because he, because when he pushed the site and even though he died, it caused the rotation from both players on CT. So one of them got caught out of position, got both go down. Complexity went around regardless, but the play was really smart there from Follow Esports. Yeah, and there's still six rounds behind the complexity, so it just really takes that one win. And considering how much damage was just dealt by com uh, to complexity. They have to be very careful. Sempus will get the opener onto Stewie. Stewie being an instrumental entry player for them so far in this match. With three players towards B at the start of this round, that is uh, definitely quite safe from complexity, considering that Follow Esports have not really shown any grand aggression or fast timings towards the A bomb site, which is the direct counter to playing three people on the B side as an opener. Because if you, if you play that fast quad aggression or, or arch aggression, there is just maximum going to be one player there. Or, well, okay, two. But if you kill them, and there's two there, then there's no one else on A, so you get the plant. So, pretty dangerous to uh, uh, for you if you receive a, a, an A rush in that spot. But, Semphis will pick up a second frag, rotating in. Another one for Semphis. That makes, that's, that's, that's three now. And uh, he could yet get more. Oh. Don't fancy your chances, mate. Better be careful. Two versus five here. 30 seconds left, and it's not really working out. Again, Semphis being instrumental in savage, savaging the T side. Now, Complexity catching up pretty quickly, and all they're doing is just peeking and killing people. That's what they do. And uh, the CT side affords them opportunity to do such. So, uh, if we'll have to pay attention to the next buy of the T side and see if Semphis is uh, changing up his position, because obviously. Three spots can try and react to that by smoke, simply smoking off library. So we'll see. In fact, they could buy here. We'll see if they Finish. choose to. This is a five round lead. Indeed, they're going for it. So let's have a look and see where Semphis goes. Yeah, Semphis has been an issue for them. But the, he doesn't have an AWP this time around. Oh. Interestingly, they should have been able to facilitate that. I would have assumed even if he died that they could pick it up. Or maybe not, James. Maybe. Maybe they're just changing Screw it up. Senfis. But they maybe might be they might be expecting Follow Esports to try and counter it, so maybe they're just gonna say, okay, we'll go and pull for this round. Who knows? Or maybe they're expecting an eco. Who the hell knows? Hmm. Could be a number of reasons why. Well, Follow Esports looking to charge the A site again, with uh, Stewie just keeping an eye on Banana. Rocker just gonna jump around, bit of parkour, shoot someone in the face. That's the complexity style. That's a great read on the rotation there. Just starting to charge up. The bomb goes down as well. Last man standing. So all falling apart here for Follow Esports. Looks so solid on the CT side. But uh, Complexity appear to have found the Kryptonite. And it shoves it down there. Pan. Okay, so 39. And looks like we're going to get a pause from Follow Esports. A tactical would make sense at this point. Considering that they are losing grip of the match. So, interesting situation. In fact, they haven't really found an answer to Semphis' AWP. I would argue that that is the biggest problem for them so far, is Semphis' AWP. However, we haven't seen from them, after they take middle, like a proper A execute, actually. So, I would be curious to see how that would work. Because, in theory, you know, with the right smokes down and so on, you should be able to get the bomb down and pressure Semphis to actually move out of his position to try to frag, instead of 
consistently being in positions where he favours to take the jewels as he pleases, which has been pretty good for him so far. So looking at the money on Follow Esports, it's kind of averaging about three and a half thousand, or just shy of. They have a four-round lead at the moment, so. Uh, but again, we haven't really seen much in the name of executes. I don't think on their T side, it, their CT side was so solid that maybe their T side is a work in progress. But uh, complexity, I think they're probably just thinking, right? How can we stop complexity from playing their game, which is just run around and shoot people? So I'm curious to see what the solution is going to be. Seems the unpause is coming in, so we'll find out what the approach is from Follow Esports on the next buy. For now, though, they're going to be uh, th looking at their buy. We might see the same round that we saw on the second round of the second half from them if they can make it into those positions. Easier said than done with a hyper aggressive complexity team coming at you. It does look like that as well. Yeah, and, and no, uh, no rushes from Complexity yet. But we might see a mid rush from them on the next round, anticipating uh, a mix up from Follow Esports. They're wanting to blow it up before it actually happens. And it's Complexity after all. They love to do that. So, next round, I would expect a mid rush from Complexity. What to yeah. see, though? This is the same round, but pretty much coming in with a short, slight variation coming through Boiler. And uh, not working out in by any means. Everyone's dead apart from Ruru. No one's dead on the CT side, nor have they taken a single point of damage. There we go. So I'm calling the mid rush from complexity. Let's see. Oh, look at the money on Sanks, man. He's rich. Yeah, he is the uh, Akis of the second half, you might say. Just rolling around with 16k for a lot of the first half. So Peter on the Orp, no Orp for complexity, and it looks like a standard setup. Damn it! <laughs> We'll see an early boost here for the uh, CTs, for the T's, excuse me, towards B. The CT's starting to push down now, but they've got three people coming in their direction. What a nice spray there by Stewie. And uh, Villains only has 20 HP, gonna have to run with his tail between his legs. Got a man coming in for support as well. Our follow Esports committing to this, it seems they are. That pop flash into the full area so should slow things down. Second one coming in and technical charge through it. How many can he get? Could be a three man spray down. Indeed, it is gonna uh, lose, his, lose to Akis, who'll get traded. Again, the combination of those two flashes into the full area the first one to slow them down, the second one to reflash them and leave them just no man's land. Very nice play there by Semphis. Yeah, it almost makes you uh, wonder about how those engagements should go because that is a very common way for the CTs to get themselves back into the that situation is to have that guy who rotates, get the two flashes in and run in. We've seen it many, many times on the top level. So it's something that makes you wonder, okay, can we set up smokes in a way that like helps us deal with that and so on and so forth? Something to think, to ponder about. But the want take coming in from uh, Follow Esports. So far the trades are happening. Can they finish off the gun sandbags? Is this alive? And oh, look at this creep coming in from Rue. That's pretty huge. That is Semphis out of the picture. So Follow Esports might finally claim around. It's looking pretty good for them with Fallen so low as well by the sandbags. But why is he not dead yet? Why is he still alive? How is he still alive? This is the most amazing hold I have ever seen on Banana. He had a guy above him spraying him down and he's still alive with 7 HP. Imagine if he even got the kill here, that would be hilarious, but he won't, Stewie will finally take him down. So the job is finally done, they're leaving complexity with one person per site. Sanks in the pit there will be quite the danger to approach. Maybe they're going to have a better chance of it headed towards the uh, B bomb site where Automatic's moving into construction now. Yeah, I'd actually be very scared of Sanks to be honest in that position. I would definitely favor this if I knew which player was playing which position. So automatic will be spotted as well. It's a huge deal for here for the T's. As well, nice going for the kill for the spray, but he's not going to pick it up. Stewie 2K over the top is going to take the kill onto automatic, leaving Sanks to 1 versus 3 this uh, situation. Bomb planted, of course, it's going to be very difficult as there's plenty of time for the post plant. We see the heat and poly setup and uh, one player on sandbags here on banana, banana for the follow esports. So they're looking to be in a very good setup to deal with any aggression back into the bomb site. Can Sanks find himself a fast frag though? There might be his chances here, but it uh, looks like they're facing him. I would not say that it is too advisable. They should be able to escape here, but Sanks is going in for the kill. Ruthless. 
Nicely done by Sanks. He had about $12,900 in that round. So uh, nothing to lose pretty much at this point. Just wants to kill that economy as much as possible. Kill it until it's dead, that. Follow me spot two rounds away from victory now. Complexity with three more to find. Full nades coming out for the CT side. So with this 14-11 uh, scoreline complexity, I mean, they did build up quite a bit of money. Ooh, Slump is still looking pretty good on the AWP. He's been pretty instrumental, actually, in the comeback of his team. And uh, the economy... Uh, or, or I guess you could attribute also the, the good economy that they've generated because of his frags as well, largely speaking. But Foley Sports looking for a mid take and uh, 4 versus 5 is going to be hard. They do need to be to actually open things up here. He needs to be able to get a frag, but I think he's got Stemphus to deal with towards Arch side as well as Valence. Valence is going to peek here. Will that give confidence to Suvi to go for another peek down into Little Pits and uh, Library side? Looks like he's going to back away actually. So. Things looking uh, interesting now. Four versus four with uh, 50 seconds to play with. And here goes the peak from Stewie. I don't know about this angle though. It's going to be pretty hard. He's going to have to be fast to hit the shot. If he could get a, t a flash from a teammate at the same time, that would be very strong. And here he goes. Smoke is in. Flash is there as well. So he, they made it safe with the flash. Lovely, lovely stuff. Sanks is still there. Yeah, they're not paying any attention to the pit, it seems, and Sanks gets two kills with automatic running, running distraction. I don't know why they all ignore the pit in that situation. Maybe a communication problem, I don't know, but uh, it's cost them. And now Follow Esports are going to have no money and complexity. Already had some cash. You can see Sanks still there with almost 10k, just spending a bit more for his teammates, maybe. So. Complexity now two rounds away, but it but it feels like they have the advantage at this point considering the uh, la complete lack of money on follow esports side. Yeah, I mean I thought follow esports are going to be able to take this match pretty pretty easily actually after that first half. But how wrong was I? I mean they they haven't been able to win any T rounds really. I mean they won one so far, right? It's a pretty uh, pretty sad state of affairs for them. And uh, on the eco now, the best expectation is is a bomb plant or a couple kills. Both would be a bonus. To be honest, they'll already lose Stewie. Just he, he just decided to end end the uh, the suffering. Just went in there. Yeah, follow his boss. Like I looked at the radar, I was like, okay, they're just all over the place. That was, I I don't even I I don't even know if they know what they're doing at this point. Although they're all bunched up now towards B, and they are soon to die together. I think. That said. Valens is down to two, uh, 20 HP, so actually they could get a bomb pot here. Let's see. Jumping through the smoke now, looking to get a player behind Fountain. Indeed they will. So Valens, 20 HP. What is his play? The trade comes in. That's going to be two rifles if uh, Follow Esports can make it to them. Peter picks up the M4. And uh, Slemmy is not going to risk it going for the other gun in plain sight. Let's just make his way over towards Dark. He is now the last man. Got the M4 as well towards New Box. Let's see if he can do any more damage. Oh, it's unfortunate that the lack of Kevlar threw off his shots, so he can finish off automatic. But two frags and bomb plant, as I said, is like that's that's unexpected. That's the bonus. Two frags and bomb plant. Although, as we can see, the uh, the economic damage is not too meaningful. I mean, there's still a pretty healthy buy and a healthy amount of cash on complexity. So, Follow Esports will have to get things done here with a couple of Galils and uh, and some nades. They have a decent dis decent amount of nades, as we can see. Now, what they intend to do with them is another question entirely. Uh, whether they keep going for the pick base play or not is interesting. Sanfis goes for the aggression on Banana here. He could find a quick opener or he could get punished for it. He hits the shot. He gets actually, uh, uh, I think he got attacked through to two players. And they're, they're going to get sprayed down here. I'm pretty sure he wall banged. I think he hit three players with that shot. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm going to have to look at that back at that one. Yeah, uh, he looked like he could have chained a few people with that one. Well... <coughs> Akis and Slemmy remain. Taken down two CTs, but uh, we can see the position of Automatic actually is going to be very key. That's going to allow Sanks to rotate as Automatic has vision of the mid area. Can he get a second player? Akis only has 17 HP. They're both going to pass actually, so they should hear him in the apps. Will the bomb go down in time? Ooh, just about getting his gun out in time, but no kills for either side yet. Automatic is going to continue the harassment. He's gonna finally going to fall a nade from Sanks. Will trade though. Even Akix with 20 HP versus 2, so Memphis with only 9 HP, so this is anyone's, as long as Akix does not get traded. Yeah, I don't see this happening for Akix, he's so incredibly low. 
how they, I mean, they, sh they should be able to challenge him too at once, but do they know where he is? That's kind of the uh, question. Now he's in the flash over the top. He's, oh, wow! Basically, uh, finding the, almost the pre fire onto that p that player, but the trade does come in immediately, and he didn't kill enough time there. So, round goes to complexity, and they finally tie it up. But by the time they tie it up, it's 14 14, and Folly Sports have lost uh, quite a few rounds in a row, so they, they should be able to. Uh, they can definitely force it up here. I mean, a force will include a few AKs, so why not do it? And it gives themselves an opportunity to win the map, and as opposed to going to overtime, which is a reality at this point. Now, Orbs on Semphis, he is going to take himself to the court side, to apartments actually, potentially. Is he going to apartments? No, he's, got, he's, a, he's peaking mid actually, my bad. So flash over the top there for Valens to get his teammate on a peak there. Roka onto a peak, you won't see anything on a banana just yet. And the T's will take some positioning here towards apartments in mid. So you can see it's a semi-passive hold from complexity. Semphis is just going to be the point man on mid. By himself, while the rest of his teammates play pit, basically double pit, is almost. So, what is the play from Follow Esports now? Do they have an execute beyond the uh, that second round uh, eco execute? Heading over towards the library area to see what's what. And that's where Simpsons can now be found, but he's taken the passive position, he's laid a trap, and uh, Sanks is coming in with two kills. Ever reliable in that area of the map. Three players all on short and they're getting wiped out here, leaving only Ruru versus four with the bomb down in the front of the pit. So, cannot fancy his chance here. The orb's coming out as RDM falls and Complexity have brought this all the way back. Just the one round so far on the T side for Follow Esports. Yeah, the big deal there is the lack of a bomb plant because the bomb plant again gives them at this point $4,200. Uh, $4, so, that's, that's like a good buy. But as you can see, they have anything but a good buy. Three girls and two tech nines. But knowing, knowing like how CSGO can be sometimes, that could very well be a winning combination. As they are allowed to quite a, or yeah, they're available to quite a high pace with those weapons. And they are all culminating, convivial convergence culminating on the banana area at this point in time for follow esports all together moving up. And, uh, well, there's not much in play here for Complexity. They only have Roka on the bomb site. They're playing a four base setup with no information to do that. That's, that's, that's what we call a gamble, James. Well, is the gamble going to pay off? You cannot fancy their chances now as it is a five-man push into a one-man hold. Semi with some team, some team damage there. <laughs> I don't know who's going to make longer at this point. So down goes Roka, and we might be looking at overtime here because we've got a... Four versus five retake. The bomb's going down as well. Valen's going to let them pass. Is he going to get traded or will he get any more frags here? He's got players pretty close and out of numbers going down for Follow Esports. Jumping all over the site. Senf is still way out of position here. Needs to get over to his team as the time is ticking. Still got smokes going down. Stewie with an aggressive position towards the uh, construction area. This could go either way. So Peter's just the only one left now. But the bomb is ticking fast and fast. So somebody needs to get on that and it needs to be covered while they do it. Peter looking to spray the bomb down. I have no idea what's going on. Two-man spray down. Tempest only 7 HP. I have no idea where he is or what's going on, Dan. But I think we're going to over time. Yes, we are. That's that's kind of hilarious, actually. Because we have X-ray on. It's like, well, I see Peter is uh, appears to be uh, uh, holding us one into some... Sp oh, everyone's dead now. I guess he uh, <laughs> guess he knew what he was doing. But uh, yeah, I think he was at first oranges there. And, and of course, like he smoked himself off. So he basically went for like this hero risky play. But you have to question the fact that Complexity decided to stack four players on A with no information. With, with literally no information. Like mm -hmm. normally uh, teams do that in a safe way where you what you do is you have at, at, if you want to be greedy, I guess, two-man play on Banana instead of a three-man play. Three man's a bit safer, and you, you get some aggression in so you can have forward positions on Banana. So then what happens is you clear out Banana, you take it away from the Ts, and then so if they're going to retake it, by this time you've already been able to rotate everybody back towards B because you know that no one's in Banana, and then you have a guy, he's by car or something, you can spot the deep angle and see, okay, they're re-challenging, that means now I can fall back onto the site, I can smoke it down and I can rotate someone back and then it's safe, and you can slow them down. Whereas there, we just saw, okay, we're just going to completely gamble and say that they're going to go A, and hope, that, hope, pray to God. Because by the time Roka sees someone, they're all on the bomb site, James. There's, there's literally nothing else you can do there. They're going to have a bomb plant. T's won two rounds. Second one was the, f the last round. Yeah. Because, yeah. because one guy beat. Yeah. Well, 
It's crazy risky. I don't know. Sometimes you make the wrong call. I, I suppose mean, it's it's different. It's different approaches and ethos to Counter Strike. I guess it's not it's not the one I would apply personally, but but it is what they went with in that situation, and uh, it's created an overtime. So I hope for them that it does not bite them in the backside. So Peter's trying to fix his ping issues at the moment. You saw he had about he had about 110 ping, which is intercontinental levels. It's like Peter and Devilwalk levels. P Pit and Devilwalk levels. Or it was. Until they both left the squad. It's now down to a North American squad once again. So the European uh experiment has failed, Dan. <laughs> like all experiments, James. It has been trashed. It's been discarded. And you've got to move we've got to move on to more more uh, successful uh, successful things, and that is a pure, I suppose, lineup. Well, that's a, that's a, pure, a pure lineup. Be careful your words, that. I guess that that said, um, X3 is from from. Is he? He's French, right? But he lives. He's lived in America for a long time. Is it? But it's just. Is it just for studies, or is he I like half idea. American and has like a dual citizenship or something? Well, if he had visa issues, um, I guess he doesn't. Yeah, have I guess a dual, oh, okay. dual so. Probably was just for studies, then he was out there for a prolonged period, I guess. That would make sense because if he played them against the authority in the past. If I'm not mistaken, he got engaged to a lady friend. A lady, lady friend. Well, his lady friend, I suppose, as opposed to a lady friend. <laughs> as opposed to somebody's lady friend, specifically his one. Well, a lady friend would suggest that maybe there's there's plural then. Yeah, I so, suppose so. So his his lady friend. We don't discriminate. We're open-minded. Just just clarifies that it probably isn't plural. I think she'd probably be upset if it was plural. So uh, one can just assume that it's just one. But I'm glad we cleared this up then. <laughs> so really we don't know. It could be plural, could be plural. You have no idea. So Peter, I don't know if he's resolved his issues or not, but the game is about to start, so we should be getting back into it shortly. What does one do in this situation? I have 100 ping. Give me two minutes, guys. Okay, my ping's gone now. Turn off the torrents. I, don't know, I, I guess you can reboot your router and hope that you get re you know some routing changes. But the thing is, which I don't understand, is why there's not proxying in this game still. Like okay, sure, you got we have better netcode, better uh, this anti lag coded into the game now, and I won't, won't explain that because it's a little bit out of my depth. I could get, I guess give a gist, but anti lag, it's a uh, you know, somewhat self explanatory. It's in the name, um, so so playing on high ping is much easier these days. But why is it not proxying, which which is basically which allows you because sometimes you get bad routing to a server. The way that you get routed to a server is poor, so you can change the routing yourself with proxy servers. And uh, that can have a huge difference, huge impact on how you think of server. Anyway, um, either way, we're into overtime number one, and face it is uh, MR5, or MR10, however you want to put it. Max rounds 10, five rounds and a half. Yeah. So I think this is quite disadvantageous for fellow esports because despite winning that one round at the end, the I, I momentum think. is firmly in complexity's uh, favor. And if complexity go 5-0, for example, on the CT side, then uh, maybe follow eSports will crack after such a good showing at the beginning. Also on their CT, is like CT side of follow eSports, that was good. And they're going to their poorer side. Ooh, that's nice from automatic there. Take that slimy, jumping across. This mid, this mid take is all but uh, fluffed, been fluffed here. It's all but, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, so I'm going to continue the commentary regardless. Put the push coming into B. And Roka's going to put the stop sign down there as well. So Peter being is being redirected right now. The road has been closed. He's trying to find a longer route, James. But that route is, is filled with traffic and uh, pedestrian crossings. And there's no moving for Peter. He's going to be stuck here for a while. Yeah, this is looking like a uh, long save unless he's... Well, there are three people over here. The on site. He's got a frag on to A, and I think he's going to try and clutch this for his team. He's got the time to do it, picking up the AK now. Get the uh, plant in the sights. Just gets out there in time. Semphis goes down, leaving it. Two versus one. Cannot reload the gun. He did some damage, though, to the CT economy. What is Peter's ping? Did he fix it? Did he do something? Nope. Torrents continue down. Let me just delay like the match, guys. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> I really want. I really want this Christmas special. I don't want to wait until later. I'll continue to download. So complexity on the uh, AWP in the second round of MR five, five rounds a half, sixteen k starting money. Three spots did some good damage there, but again they didn't take the round, and uh, it seems that five zero is possible for complexity. Look, judging by how normal time went on complexity CT side. Don't know if we'll see any 
difference in approach from Follow Me Sports. Got to see people currently starting to take over Banana as well as the apps here. Yeah, it's looking it's under the moon, building into a push. You can see that Rue is just harassing the boiler. Ooh, it's going to be under the, the roof here. Has he been spotted? No, he has not. However, the kill is taking a long time and he's going to get punished for that. He should have been able to get both and I think he knows it. I'm not sure what give me, gives me that feeling, but I'm pretty sure. I did not feel good about that one. Push comes into B though. Rocker behind the fountain, not going to get himself any frags, so Semphis will get some one of the flames. Another team kill coming in, Stewie taking down Slemmy, leaving Peter alone in a one versus two. Slemmy's pushing through, and Peter will neither get the plant or the kill. So, another round on the board for Complexity, AWP saved as well. <laughs> I was about to say, oh my god, Complexity have amazing money. Then I remember, James, it's overtime. <laughs> and it's the start of the overtime, where everyone starts at 16k, James, which means that they have a lot of money. Well done, Dan. You had a lapse of your powers of observation continue to serve you well. I had a lapse of intelligence. Have a lot of those recently. No comment. So we have the uh, oh dear, Sempus. He's going to be uncharacteristically missing some shots there. Ooh, Roku is a five sandbags. He's getting baited for because they had a three-man setup towards Banana at the start of the match. Um, of the round, sorry. And they're not going to actually challenge in, which is interesting because normally that's kind of why Semphis can do that is because you can take the risk and die, but you encourage the the T side to think that there's less players than there are, so they'll keep pushing, but they didn't without spotting that there was another player. So that's pretty interesting. Either way, four versus four, they're gonna make the movement towards the ADA side here. So this is actually a good situation for follow esports if they play it right. Well, will they play it right? That is the question. Valenza is moving away from the B bomb fight as the execute comes in. So this time it's the uh, complexity side, well, this time. Same as issue as the last round. One player is going to get caught in isolation. The T, the T side are heavily tagged, but again, it's a long rotation for the final CT as well. Thanks to realize that somebody is in CT spawn. He's going to go down. So Stewie versus two. Stewie's only got 44 HP. Has, has an AK though, which will be a distinct advantage, but he needs to find those heads. He needs to get the one versus one. Positions himself well, but he will get traded by Automatic. He will find the defuse. Complexity continues ahead towards the 5 0 half. Yeah, three in a row. And so that was with Semphis going down immediately in the round as well. I think I think uh, Follow Esports should have should have committed to sandbags at least there. Um, however, Roka was left to to be alive, to just chill, chill in the sandbags without the challenge. So so that was that ended up being kinda good for complexity in the long run it seemed. As uh, we can have a normal setup here. Is this a mi okay? I, I think that obviously we're thinking about mid push there. However, four players up and on here for follow esports is definitely going to cause a uh, or at least bring some attention here. Oh, the flash is good, but Roka is going to go down straight away. One of the players was not flashed, and he found a very decisive shot there. Trace come in, and the B bomb side is well and truly open. But three players are left alive here for follow esports after set all is said and done, and a kiss is on 10 HP. So Semphis has been smoked off in construction, but the good the good thing is he has control of it for now for his teammates as they come in for the rotation. One coming from Banana, one coming from CT. That's automatic there. Just waiting for these uh, smokes to go down. Nades being prepared all over the place. That's a new box of nades. Not sure if that landed in the right I place, actually. So. No, it did, actually. He's forced the players away, so just about landed in the right place. Really followed up by another Molotov. Man advantage for the CTs, but again, the clock is ticking. Only Stewie left, but he's in a good position to stop the defuse from coming in at the end of the day. Broke onto his position, but there we go. That's four for four now for complexity. Again, headed towards five. For those of you who want to uh, know how to model a new box, one way to do it is to stand in front of second logs, and then there's a like a dirt mark on the ceiling you aim at, and it just bounces into new box. It's it's actually pretty impressive how complexity we took there because they use all their names really well, apart from the fluffed uh, Molotov incendiary. They they played the made nade super well and that, that made the difference because it forced comp uh, a fully force out of the positions. Now we got the mid push coming in. They they needed to throw this in at some point. They might as well do it at this point. Well, now that they have such a good advantage, and it's you know, say mid push, but it's just Valenza actually being pushed in. He's going to take down two players already, and he can go for the backstab here. Is fully force feel pressure to keep the push going hard and fast straight through onto the B bomb site, and it's going to pay off as they get the entry. Roker not able to do anything, and once again retake situation. 
three for East for Esports and four for the CTs of Complexity. Yeah, this is a bad retake for Complexity because the entire team was completely out of position this time, so this one's not looking likely. Semphis is lining up for... It looks like it's towards construction. Oh, no, okay. He's back to the new box again. Just keeping that place uh, off limits. Akis is on fire. I'm not sure if he realizes. He's lost half his health now. But he's going to get a frag and finally go down. And again, 5 for 5. This is what we expected, more or less. So, uh, all to do for follow esports now. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of surprising how much of a struggle follow esports had on their T side. And because uh, the complexity, again, you know, you kind of expect actually with the way the match has gone that they are going to win this for sure. Not just in the light of the five rounds on CT, but it feels like uh, they had less systemic problems with their T side and winning rounds. And we're going to see complexity on that T side here. Now, follow esports, they were very consistent on their CT side, but that is when money was an issue as well. Money's no longer an issue. For the complexity. Oh, this nade is gonna be quite good on to Semphis, so you won't be happy with that, but uh, complexity looking to just charge the A site now, shut this down as soon as possible. The nades are coming in, Sanks is blind, but Sanks is still alive, and now it's Peter dead. Automatic getting taken down elsewhere by Akis, but who is going to take this round? It's still all to play for here. We've got a two man rotation coming in from the B bomb site as well as the bomb gets planted in A. Yeah, Sanks with a frag 3 vs 3 here, so it looks pretty good here for follow esports. Bomb is down though, Vance is going to go down as well so the DPs can come in. So they'll get the plant, but the problem is is that at this point, I mean, rounds is more important. Um, I guess the extra $800 will help out a little bit, but that said as well, you know, Complexity just need one round of the four remaining rounds. That's pretty, that's a good place to be. But how are they going to get it? How are they going to get it? They have to make sure they're not too hasty as well. Um, so the AWP is on Semphis. How are they going to do this? They, they need better post-plant uh, positions. Excuse me. They need better post-plant uh, positions. Well, they, they, they didn't clear out the guy on pit, for example. That's yeah, well, there's, there's a player jumping on a truck which just exposes him to basically every angle yeah. on the entire site. Well, hello. Hello there, world. Let me, let me present my body for sacrifice. Well, Complexity going to have a few people concentrated towards Banana for now, just holding in case there's a push in which they can try to uh, punish. There we go, we've got the nades coming in top mid as well. Will that cause all rotation? Follow spots looking pretty static towards A at the moment. They are non-believers, Dan. It's a good Molotov coming in to the bedroom area, but there's nobody there. I don't know if, if Follow spots have played bedroom a single time in this match so far. Indeed, indeed you do. So, 3-2 split on complexity players. Looking for that last round, the decisive round. And Burk, uh, looking for the taps, he's going to find onto Stewie 2k, he's dead. And that is, of course, going to cause the floating player, and I think it's actually Peter with the AWP. He's going to go towards B now, so as long as Complexity go as a team, they should be pretty, pretty good for this round. They got the right nades in place, and Tempest is looking to reopen this. Oh, he spots the player, he gets tagged down though. That is a lot of damage, and the nades will start to come in here for the CT side. They're able to actually hold this push and buy time for the rotation. There's uh, no time to mess around for Complexity. They have to commit it to the bomb site, and they have to get the frags if they want to get it done here. And that is what's happening here. Two frags for them, five versus two after plant. Oh, Semphis, straight into the face of Slemmy. That is absolutely brutal. Akis versus five, three players heavily tagged, but you can't fancy his chances, surely. The crossfire, the trades should be guaranteed here for the T's. Now Akis' position is known, that's going to be a wrap. So Valens to finish things off there for Complexity. Again, it was a great start from Follow Esports, very promising, but the T side was definitely lacking. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of sad actually, because their CT side was so solid. So it's kind of sad to see that they struggle so much on the T side. There's not much more to say about it than that, to be honest. Um, Indeed, yeah. and we are running a little bit late, so uh, we'll go to a break quickly while we get the second match set up. I am going to give away, we are going to give away a knife at some point, probably after game two now because we're late, so break time, see you in a few minutes.